This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a GE washing machine that when you press start, uh, you get some beeping, three uh, beeping noises and also a flashing LED. And that means that the dishwasher thinks that the door is open and that's often due to a faulty controller which lives down below the door. So here's the part number for the controller. We'll put a um, link in the description below the video. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of the box. This will just take you a couple minutes to pop in this new controller. I think they charge about $70 to $80 for this part. Sometimes the problem with the door can be a faulty door lock, but more often it's the faulty controller. So I get open the door so I have a little more room to work. I'm going to take out two quarter inch screws that are holding on this bottom kick plate, and then we'll go ahead and get the kick plate out of there. Below that is a really thick piece of sound insulation, so we're going to just pull that straight out. And then there's two gold quarter inch screws that we need to remove that are holding the control panel in. I'm going to pull off this one little modular connector below the control. Then I'll zip out these two screws. So by having the door fully open, if you have long arms like me, you can reach and so get to these two screws. And then there's an electrical box on the right-hand side. I need to remove that by taking out one screw. And I'll pull that out. And then there's a power connector that brings power into the controller. And I'm going to remove that power controller by pinching in and pulling that down. There we go. So now I can kind of wiggle this controller out of its housing. Those two gold color screws are holding it in. And then there's, uh, I believe there's three modular connectors that I have to take off before I can pull this out. And we can see them here. Here's the first one. It's this white one. So I'm going to pinch in, wiggle, and pull that off. There we go. There's a white one right here in the middle. Let's pinch in, same thing, wiggle, pull that one off. There's a purple one here, kind of near the back. Same thing, pinch, wiggle that off. I can pull the whole thing out now. And to get this out, there's one little screw holding it in and some pins, plastic pins. So I'm gonna kind of squeeze the pins with my um, needle nose pliers. And then I'll take out this one ground screw right here, quarter inch screw. Zip that out, and then I'll just squeeze in on a few more of those pins, and this controller will come right out. These GE dishwashers just are not lasting very well. Uh, they have little components that keep failing, so they're they're not the best for longevity, but these parts are pretty cheap. It's just kind of a pain in the neck to have to replace them. So I'm squeezing in on this plastic pin, and then I'm lifting up at the same time to get the circuit board out of here. Another pin right there. Okay, there's the old one. 
set that aside. Here's the new one. So I'm just going to push it into position and then I'll push it down on those pins and they kind of self lock into, pos into po position. It just takes a couple of seconds to do it. There we go. I'm going to add that um, ground screw back in there, the green ground screw with the quarter inch drive. Get that nice and tight. There we go. All right, we can put this back in now. I'm going to put on the connectors. There's the little purple one in the back. Push that all the way down. I think I had to turn it the other way. There we go. And we got this white one in the middle, this bigger one. There we go. And now, got those are all done. So I can get this controller housing back up where it was, kind of push it up, push and wiggle. You gotta make sure this cord, there's a little slot inside the housing for the cord to go through here by my left hand. So you get that done and I'll wiggle this thing back in. There we go. You just push it into the housing and then I can add those two uh, gold colored quarter inch screws. There's one. There's the second one. I'm gonna put that little modular connector back in, that small one, lock it in. And put the power connector back on right there. Put the little box back on there. It's held in by one screw. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door and I'll press start and just see if it starts up. Yeah, there we go. So we're back to normal. Um, so the problem was it just needed that new controller. So put that little ba box back into position. Okay, I'm gonna or add that screw back in. There we go. Okay, put the sound insulation back in, into place. Just push it in. Now put the kick panel back. Add the two quarter inch screws to hold that. There we go. Do the one on the left. And we are done. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support 
and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.